part two of time trials. First one up, Casper Askreen. Kind of quick step, very low position, very tall rider. Again, the, a lot of these guys are taller riders. You can see here, I'll link the footage for this because it's unbelievable. But you can see his hands to head position. Helmet fits perfectly. Very narrow shoulders as well. You can't see him in this angle as well. But the shoulders are incredibly narrow, like which is a big, big thing these days. Um, and obviously this photo isn't top, but you can see like it's pretty good. If he gets his head down and he's not looking, it's unbelievable. So yeah, he is one of the best positions. He's also a tall lad as well. So that always does help. Helmets perfectly on the back, which is what we absolutely love to see. Danny Martinez, a smaller guy, but again, good position to see here. Helmet fits perfectly. Very, very narrow shoulders as well, which we do love to see. Again, here you can see, look at that position. Absolutely mental. Obviously, you can't see that in that position great, but I still think it's a, it's a pretty pretty good one. Um, and the way his hands are um, together is, is pretty decent. Here's a slightly better quality image, and you can see his... Uh, I, I do do rate it a lot. Um, here he's got him training in the rain, slightly different position, just because of the helmet. Um, in terms of like the aesthetics, but obviously the position is the same. And uh, yeah, again, very low down, which is good to see. People Ganna, uh, four hundred two point six, I think is his record for four K pursuit. Obviously a very big lad again, about one meter ninety, but super super aerodynamic. Again, high hands position, helmet not tucked in perfectly, but you can see. It, the way he holds the, his hands is sort of a turtleneck position. This is John Archibald's got a pretty good position as well. And uh, yeah, Ganna's just looking absolutely top condition here. Super low, shrugging the shoulders, super narrow. There you can see it from the front end. When he has his head down, he is so narrow. And he's looking mega, mega aero. So it's what we absolutely love to see from the time trials. Here's another photo from the World Championships, which he finished third in. Um, and even when he's looking up, he's still pretty arrow, which I always think is an important thing. Chloe Diger smashes everyone in women's team pursuiting and in, uh, individual pursuiting and time trialing again similar position uh, she has a slightly different position over the years um it's got slightly higher hands helmet tucked in a helmet isn't perfect i'd say look the, the tail is a bit too long potentially um but obviously she's sponsored by red bulls probably doesn't have too much an option um so as you can see there maybe if it was cut off a little bit it would be good but again very nice position she's got the zip volker bars i believe they are uh and uh, yeah super super aggressive as well very low down Wow, Van Aert, people had requested him, so I decided to give it a go. Not looking mega error. I believe Dan Bigham saw the boy out with some decent error error gains. Um, but you'll see in races with his laser, like the bullet helmet, I think it is. Um, he's looking super, super, super error. Um, again, higher hands position. Not one of those super low boys um, like we used to see. Um, here, obviously, he's looking up. But when he puts his head down, um, which we'll see. Obviously, I don't advocate head down riding if you're uh, on a CTT circuit. But obviously, World Tour is fine. There again is, is, is what we love to see here is he's sort of a bit further back but has still hands high so it's not like he's tucked into it it's more like his hands are further in front of him and he's pushed his head backwards um, which I think is, is quite an effective way. So anyway cheers for watching and um, see you in the next one.